Women's semi final match. Hania El Hamami of Egypt to serve. Noor El Shabini of Egypt to receive. Best of five games. Lovell. The leopard against the Warrior Princess, current world champion, up against the world number three. Down. Hand out, one love. This is going to be particularly interesting with the new physicality that you spoke of there, Joey. The last three times these girls have played, the last one was the best of three at the World Tour Finals. She'd been taking that. But before that, I've been best of five, and El Hamami has been the victor in those, in my opinion, due to the physicality lacking for, from Sherbini. That's why this is going to be very interesting. There's no tape, there's no injuries. There's that stronger movement in the front corners from her, just like that. The ability to go in there, hold her position Too strongly enough. and punch deep. And then also get out of those positions really quickly and recover. Talking of physicality, Hania El Hamami never has a bad movement day. Down. Three love. One of the fittest players on tour showed all last season. Well, not the best start for her, just a shake of the head. Perhaps a nervy start. Down. Another error. Four love. She had all the time in the world for that one. Good song, that. Louis Armstrong. thinking back to that World Tour Finals match, the quality that Shabini was able to play at the back end when she had that injury. Hand out, 1-4. She was really out for it, in pain, and she was just able to go up notches with the accuracy and the ruthless attacking. It's got to the stage for her where she was just getting so fed up with you know, hobbling around court, obviously getting... Down. Still winning majors, Two, and world championships in particular, but I mean, for somebody of her age, she started so young, so the body has been battered. And I like the way that she's wanting to rejuvenate and have that that second go and respond to what's happening with Narongo Har and obviously the ever improving El Hamami. And then we've already seen Amanda Sobi, who her form is. Massively encouraging. I mean, it all stacks through. Lisa with Norel Tire, but world number five on the charge. And the list goes on all the way through. I say the strength and depth. Olivia Victor playing one of the probably the match of her life against El Hamami. Then you've also got people kind of ranked 10 to 20 as well. Olivia Klein was challenging Sarah Jane Perry top 10 is not clear cut. There's people coming, chasing the pack. The Belgians are coming as well, the Gillis sisters or the Gillis sisters. Down. There's plenty, Holly Norton. The list goes on and on. Three, four. a tactical point of view I'd be expecting not that but 
Hamame to and out five, be looking three. to tuck Sherbini in that back backhand, push high up onto the tee, get her stuck in there on the stretch, and then look to attack the front of the court. I know that sounds pretty basic from a tactical point of view, and also be willing to put in a lot of work, a lot of lengthy rallies into Sherbini and test out that physicality because that match that she had with Sarah Jane Perry was not particularly yeah. quick, and I would say the movement or the, the new strength and Four, five. physicality that she's got wasn't really tested at all. But if there's anyone to do it, it's Hamami. Certainly, and she doesn't need to kind of rush things with willy-nilly errors in the front. I'm going to be all eyes on the front right-hand corner for me. There. That is the movement that has been worked on considerably and where she's been very vulnerable for quite some years if you're able to promote that against Norel Shabini and she's won this rally, another tremendous rally coming in but all eyes on the Hand front out. right hand corner. Yeah, what typically Six, happens four. is she comes in with the lunge and then the back leg also comes in with her and she's not able to hold that strength position to then pop out of the ball quickly. You make it sound so easy. I think the last time I was able to do that movement was in 1999. Yes, let 6-4. I saw sufficient interference. Well, don't Five, panic. Six. It's a noise that we're kind of still getting used to. This reminds me of kind of, I live in the countryside in England, you hear the foxes that come out with that and it literally puts you on edge and you think, goodness me, Hanyar El Hamami's around the area. It's, uh, it's an extraordinary noise. Yes, let. Right side, 7-5. She needs this bit of edge about her, though. I mean, like I say, they, they get on tremendously well off court, and El Hamami needs that slight bit of extra fire to keep the pressure on Shabini. If she kind of backs off with that, it's a very big part of her game, El Hamami. Great stretch from Shabini. She just yes, let's yes. That's fair enough. They were really desperately trying to okay? play the ball, both players, and that's really nicely. I mean, court service, court service, please. Nicely sorted. Again, quite refreshing. <laughs> just getting through it. I was going to say about her knees. 
probably. So I usually know. she she's going to need skin grafts when she's older. She is. I mean, I'll, I'll put money on the fact that she'll need them bandaged up before the end of this match. That won't be the last time she's on the floor. Thank you. Great to see from both players making every single effort to play the ball. Shabini serving from the right, 7-5. Down. Hand out, 6-7. It's a bit of a gift in the middle of this first game for Hamami. Wood's not there on the cross court. Again. Yeah, the boast wasn't quite good enough, but that was, again, immaculately dealt Eight, with. Six. Just managing to keep ahead, feet going like the clappers there, Shabini, and then settling into a nice balanced position. Foot speed is definitely increased. Well, Shabini's got that ability to make the ball stop so short in the front two corners. Helped by the new floor as well with that extra bit of grip. Keeping the ball short. Oh, that's tough movements to do. Hamami. Yes, let. Why? Why? There was sufficient interference. Does not ask an assault Can see the point being made there by the leopard. I mean, she's stretching and getting back, so she was a bit late on that ball, El Hamami. Eight, but six. A little bit more effort if we're yeah. being sticklers about it. Being a stickler, the line's behind. Good old stickler. Could have reviewed though, Joey, one of those four that she's got. She could have done. Down. <laughs> and out, 7 8. I'm sure one of those outrageous stones from the pyramids just flew off when she did that. This first game be so important for Hamami to take. Shabini was to win it, I feel like she would just relax even more if that's possible. Making her very ruthless. Brilliant shot. And that's the kind of shot I've been looking forward to seeing how the response Eight, comes from Shabini. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, it's going to be tough to even get to that one, but... El Hamami feeling a bit more confident in that front right-hand corner. Locked in at eight all. Who's going to win this first game? Who's going to win this first game? Oh, you're asking me. Oh, we sadly haven't got a third commentator in. <laughs> I could ask myself. Down. Ooh. The laser response. You're getting... out, nine eight. One of the days, Lisa, where you used to just Say it. <laughs> they are not gone. They're definitely not gone. I'm going to say Shabini is going to win this first game. Right, after that error. After that. Just taking my time. Well, very rarely do you see the Warrior Princess let these opportunities slip. She's the best player in the world when it gets very tight. That's a great weight of shot. And out, 9-0. Very accurate. It has to be that accurate against Shabini. God, lovely technique. Do you see how much it came off, the cut? That was, again, like an off-spin in cricket. The spin off the ball from the floor was considerable. That, that went, I reckon, a quarter of a metre it moved. Maybe a, a metre. Oh, I just felt like an error was coming from Hamami. Just a bit casual with that execution. Game ball. 
quite follow through. Forehand has been so successful for in this last phase of the match of the, of the first game. Game ball. The Warrior Princess. Gosh, she's really. Finding that forehand. Now ten all. A players must win by two points. Oh, it's outrageous shot. How many times do you hit an outright winner in the back of the court against Norel Shabini? Particularly when you are hitting it so hard like that to also get it to stop into the and die in the back. Yeah, brilliant. Really good. Again, no exaggerated body movement. 11, Just the quality, Game low ball. line. Thanks for coming. Game ball for the Leopard. The quick towel down. Couldn't ask for any better scenario in this first for all the viewers. Into a tie break. Next side, please. First opportunity for El Hamami to close out this first game. Yes, let's. Yeah, it's just ten. contact on the swing. She's not looking for a stroke. Gable, She's on the left, please. Just having a little chat, just <laughs> calming, <laughs> calming El Hamami down. The towels provided. There's not many people that can do that, but she managed to soften her. This is good. This is great squash. She didn't get it. Couldn't quite get it. She's under pressure now, El Hamami. Yes, let's. Yeah, good decision. 11 10. No, it's Gable a good decision. There's enough height on that ball. Corrected and was corrected herself and was on her way to the ball. Good decision by DC Foster. She would have got that. Yeah, the quality of the shot just not good enough for that to be an all let. Particularly 11, the 10. foot speed of Hamami. Game ball. Yeah. Oof. And out, 11 all. Suddenly the warrior princess letting go. It's not, it's not like Shervini to bring out that noise in a first game, is it, Joy? Not at all. Oh, yeah. Belter of a first game, locked in at 11 all. Both these women having game ball opportunities.
very close to the side wall. This is getting better and better. She's, oh, she's made the error. She went for it. <laughs> she certainly did. What a rally. That was physically very tough for both players. 12-11. Game ball. As Norel Shabini serves with game ball for the second time, we now have over 20 minutes. Squash of the highest order in this second semi-final and hardly any decisions. And out. Four handers, whether she's hitting straight to the back, straight to the front, cross court. Forehand is has been devastating for El Hamami. Yes, let. 12 all from the right, Miss Hamami to serve. Was there for the taking, wasn't it? And we were all 13, 12. We we're all heading off down the road. This one, in search of another pyramid. Third game ball, for Shabini. Why someone would call her the Warrior Princess? I have no idea. 13, 12. Third game ball opportunity. She served an ace. I cannot believe it. She served pretty much an ace. The ball dying in the back of the court, showing how important the serve is, even against the very best players in the world. One game to love.